So listen closely to this next interview here. You know, when we hear about crime in Milwaukee, some people may be scared or worried for their safety. Right, but one woman who nearly got carjacked mm -hmm. said she's glad it happened. And instead of fear, she's responding to it with the love of God. I got to see in the face of the children that we're praying for that actually need Jesus. It was God's work that led Miss Edith to this pick and save parking lot on 57th and Capitol, where she says on June 29th, these kids tried to steal her car and ended up giving her joy. I just feel the, the Holy Ghost within me. Milwaukee police have surveillance images of the teens from three different times that day. So the Bible says bear one another's burdens. Her burden that day was just supposed to be taking a friend home from church who didn't have a ride. She needs to stop at pick and save. This pick and save is not my pick and save. While she's sitting in the car waiting for her friend to finish shopping, cameras capture the teens roaming around inside the store minutes before they come outside and walk up to Miss Edith's car door. Suddenly, the car comes open and there are two young men and they looked at me and they said, get out the car, get out the car now. And I'm saying, you need Jesus. I feel it now, you need Jesus, that's all could come out. And in that moment, Miss Edith knew she was right where she was supposed to be. The young man, I could see his face breaking. The other one on the side, and I could see a stone look on him. So what did you feel at that moment when you saw him break down? He need Jesus. I was sitting, I, I was like, I, I, I realized I was getting through to him. You And I kept on with it because I could feel the power of Jesus. He could feel the power of Jesus. And so, but the other one who you could see the side of his face, he was not touched to move. In the video, you can see one kid go around to get in the driver's seat and the other hop in the back. The young man put the car in drive and he's going to go forward. And I turned to him and I'm like, you need Jesus. So I grabbed the Bible. What I was going to do, I do not know. But I grabbed the Bible off the dashboard and I, I grabbed the steering wheel. I'm like, you need Jesus. You need Jesus. He's still trying to drive. And the other one is jabbing me in my side. He couldn't shoot. He could not shoot me. So he was trying to jab me, you know, like with the pistol. It was a big bruise. What do you mean he couldn't shoot you? God wouldn't let him. It all lasted about a minute. And after the car hit the median, they took off, leaving her car with thousands of dollars in damage. The whole bump if the teens had read Miss Edith's license plate beforehand, they would have known. Because they can't read. She's not the one. Yeah, and that she was ready to bear their burdens, too. Mind you, before we got to pick and say, I was talking to her about how my, my heart was so heavy about our youth. And I don't know how we got to reach him and what we got to do. And I'm just like this. This is the whole prayer. Them coming was an answer to my prayer. A prayer she said hundreds of times during a long journey of ministry in Milwaukee. I was never scared. I was thankful. In fact, she can't wait to see their faces once again. I need them to get caught because we didn't finish our service. <laughs> they need Jesus. <laughs> they left before altar call. <laughs> Well, if you recognize the teens in this story and you want to submit a tip anonymously, of course, call Milwaukee Crime Stoppers at 414-224-TIPS. You can also use the P3TIPS app. And we want to stress your call or tip, whether on the phone or through the app, is always anonymous. And if your tip leads to an